Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we'll be covering the rampant news that Bungie are making some fairly sweeping changes to the PC beta because of the data they got from all of us taking part in the console version. Now a lot of outlets have covered just the news of this, so we're going to dive a little deeper in our analysis to try and give you guys the proper lowdown. Firstly let's cover the more simple bug fixes. Infinite supers, grenades and the warlock glide glitch have been patched out so you won't be able to perform them in the PC beta on the 28th. Those are just quality of life changes and it makes sense, as they're the game not really working as intended. There are, however, about six changes that have the potential to significantly change people's experience with the game. Because the beta is best interpreted as the new Crucible tech test, it makes sense that most of the impactful changes concern that part of the game. Bungie are changing how the matchmaking works for both quick play and competitive. A lot of the community are fairly sick of so-called skill-based matchmaking in what is supposed to be a more casual Crucible mode. Quick play in the Destiny 2 beta was for the most part what everybody played, but because of hidden factors, all the matches felt like a game battles match. That seemed at odds with what the mode was designed to be, and that's the fastest route to a game, with connection being the most important factor in finding players. Bungie have relaxed the skill component of the matchmaker, but it hasn't gone completely. Just the fact that they listened and responded to the community is a huge win. For a long time, communication with Bungie seemed like a one-way street. Less strict skill requirements means that you'll find games quicker and with better connections, but you will get some games where the player's skill level is quite far apart, just like you would in old school Call of Duty titles. To me that's a much better way of doing a casual mode. People improve by playing outside of their comfort zone. Learning isn't always fun. We've all got memories of getting smashed and slowly improving through experience. I think it's a really positive change. So is the fact that the score limit is being raised from 75 to 100 in control. More on that later. Just as quick play has gone one way, the competitive mode countdown has gone the other. Matchmaking is much more strict, with the goal being to create the most competitive match is possible. Queue times will be longer, and they've made some background adjustments to how they measure your skill in the countdown game mode to ensure the matches are as evenly balanced as possible. Now there's only one problem I can see with this. Having a competitive mode in a beta is all well and good, but the data gathered by Bungie should be taken with a little pinch of salt in my opinion. The reason being is that it simply doesn't matter at this stage. When loot is on the line in the full release, then we'll know how well it's working. But the fact that it's just a beta and therefore the results of the match are of little consequence does affect this game mode more than any other. Moving on to four fairly game-changing adjustments, the first being that Warlocks will now have the same base melee range as every other class. It did feel like a bit of a meme, Thunderstrike has left such a bad taste in players' mouths, people were wondering if all the Bungie devs were Warlock players. How else could you explain the Voidwalker and Dawnblade melee distances being much, much longer than everything else in the console beta? Thankfully that's been addressed. It's interesting how they worded it though, its base range before any perk adjustments is the same. This isn't the last we've seen of long-range melee, mark my word. Words, but at least the base is now the same for everyone. Next up a change that a lot of people were asking for. Destiny 2 will have globally shorter cooldowns for super abilities. If I just go back to the score limit increase in control for a moment, that was done because sometimes matches would end before players even got one super, that's ridiculous. Now with the score increase and the shorter cooldowns, a good player might get two in a game. That's about right for my taste to be honest. I like gunplay with a little splash of superhero mode thrown in, not the other way around. The great thing is though, a lot of PvE players were saying having such long super cooldowns made the strike boring. They didn't feel powerful or impactful enough. This global change should help make playing PvE in Destiny 2 feel that much more special. I have a bit of a blind spot personally. Sometimes I pay attention to PvP changes way more intently than changes that affect the PvE. That's odd really considering that PvE is what most people who love Destiny play it for. It's just a personal interest thing but I do totally want PvE to be as good as it can be. Bungie changing how powerful grenades are and how often power ammo spawns in is a great step in the right direction. The most understandable criticism of the console beta was that in PvE especially, Guardians didn't feel that powerful or special. It was just kind of meh. That's not what Destiny is to a lot of people. The changes they originally made to cooldowns were largely in service to making Crucible a better experience, but they ended up taking some of the magic away from the main mode people play the game for. Making the grenades more powerful is a good alternative to shortening their cooldown. Bungie seemed fixated on not balancing PvE PvE and Crucible separately, which I think is a mistake personally. They could go absolutely mental in PvE and nobody would complain. 
at least power ammo will spawn in much more frequently in PvE from now on. It's dropped by yellow bar enemies at a much higher rate. The power weapon category has many of the player base's favourite weapon types in it. Snipers, shotguns, rockets. Let everyone play with the toys, Bungie. It makes sense in Crucible to ration that stuff, but not in strikes and other activities. In summary then, the PC beta should feel a lot better for both Crucible and PvE. Bungie are listening and making the right sort of changes. That's good news for all of us. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss another video of ours again, please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad. You'll be in good company. And finally, please check out our Twitter. It's where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump, and until next time, 